Good morning, internet people. Welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. I'm Sierra. I'm Mister. And we have little man here. Hi. <laughs> and who else is here, little man? Grandmama. Grandmama's here. Where is Grandmama? Right there. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Grandmama. Hi. Where are you visiting us from? From the United States, Michigan. <gasps> wow. Grandma's gonna be here for about 10 days. Um, and I'm not gonna film the entire time every single day, but I'm gonna make two videos. I'm gonna make one on the day we go to York because I think we're gonna do um, York Minster and the York Museum, which should take up pretty much our entire day. And then this video that I'm making right now, we're gonna do, I think we're gonna see Clive Castle and Skipton Castle, and I'll show you guys whatever else it is we're up to this week. So, hope you guys gonna enjoy, and we'll see you guys in a bit. Go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you pushing your grandma in the push chair? What? Are you pushing your grandma in the stroller? Yeah. Push, push, yeah. push the wheelchair. <laughs> the Good morning, people of the internet. This castle is a, not actually a castle, it's actually just a really big stately home here in Yorkshire. And it was originally built in the late 1800s by the a millionaire who, I think they were the Butterfield family. And now, I guess after, um, some years it was donated to the city and now it's a museum which is really neat. Um, there's also a little kids play area as you guys can see here which is really fun. Little man and mister playing getting their wiggles out first. There's mom again. Mm -hmm. And then behind me you can see the building over, where is it? Right there is the actual castle museum and the building there is the greenhouses, I think they might have an aviary and also a cafe. So after little man and mister are no longer playing we're gonna check it out. Go higher than your daddy. Okay, I didn't know we were having a competition. Look at that sunshine. That's the dragon. That's the castle. Tell me that you have too much money without telling me that you have too much money. Look at that staircase. Don't look at daddy, what's he doing? Oh, Telling grandma how it works, you're right. <laughs> so pretty. What'd you find? You found a clock? Let me see where it is. Where's the clock? Hey there guys, so we are inside of the Cliff Museum right now. Actually, the first room here is the music room, which is really cool. There's a harp and a cello and a piano, a bunch of other music-y stuff in there. Um, I did a little bit of reading on the signs around here, and I didn't know this, so I'm gonna tell you guys, because maybe you guys don't know either. Cliff Castle is, of course, like I said before, a house, but also it is part house. They cut and tack, like the mansion like this. There's also a few rooms in here that have rock collections, as well as some small animal collections, so that should be interesting to check out. That's him. Uh, this is him? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Now this is a, like a pendulum clock kind of thing. The drawing room, or so basically or it's a living room. Mama, try it. Thank you. It's a chip. Oh, here. Hey there, guys. It is a couple of days later, and Mom is still here. Although Mom is hiding behind afternoon tea. <laughs> um, we are in Harrogate today and we stopped by Mama Doreen's Emporium which is 
uh, kind of like Betty's tape, which you might know if you're from the area, but way better. And if you book ahead, you can get a beautiful vegan afternoon tea, and it looks like this. It's amazing. It has, I'll show you guys all of it in a second, but you've got some little finger sandwiches and a scone course and more dessert than anybody needs per person, but it is incredible. And I will say ahead of time, it is a little bit expensive, but if you consider like what you get for afternoon tea, I think honestly just like the dessert platter would probably be cost the 25 pounds that it costs. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy this and we'll see you guys in a bit. How is it, mama? Delicious. Delicious. Daddy, how is it? Little man, is it good? So delicious. Oh, you know what? We tried and we were defeated. But that just means we can have it tomorrow. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. You two are shaking the car back there. Three, two. Oh, you're doing two! <laughs> okay, wait. One, three, three, two, two one. one. We are gonna go to the castle. Uh. Hey guys, so we're on day, I don't even know how many of this vlog, but we are currently, well, I'm currently inside of the grotto at Skipton Castle, which is the first room that you enter when you come in. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing you guys around the castle today, but this room is really cool because um, it was built in the, I think it's 1650s-ish, um, but the castle dates back to 1100, which is really, really cool. But this room is unique because it has a lot of different materials that were foreign in it. So for example, there is volcanic rock in here, which I don't remember where the volcanic rock is from, but it is that black stuff right there. And it also has decorated with seashells from Guernsey, which is what all of the like oyster shell looking things are. And then at the very tops, it's hard to see, but there is actually Jamaican coral added, which makes it really neat. Um, apparently, according to the, what the guide said, these type of rooms were very popular abroad. And so to have a room like this in your house or your castle was very prestigious and really, um, very like uppity and with the times. I think there's actually only two built in the entire country, so this is really cool and unique. Boo! 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 Wow! Now that's a castle! What's in the bowl? I don't know. It's nothing. Well, not anymore, but it probably used to have holy water in it. Oh, of water? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a St. John the Evangelist chapel. I wonder how the acoustics are. Ah! Uh, look, there's a daddy up there taking a picture. Okay, okay, you show me. You show me where it is. Come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, go, go. Show me. Mama. Yeah? Come on. I should come? Ooh, it's the dungeon. Scary. Yeah. We're going down into the dungeon. Yeah, yeah. It's very scary down here. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I might find a body. That's it. This is where they kept no, the bad guys. It's nothing. It's not nothing, it's the dungeon. Dungeon? Yeah. Do you know what a dungeon is? What's a dungeon? So a dungeon is where in the castle, if there were bad guys, they would put the bad guys down here so they wouldn't hurt the castle. Hurt the castle? Mm hmm yep. But bad guys live in there? Yeah, a dungeon is kind of like a jail inside of a castle. What's in there? There's a bathroom in there. Can you show it to me? Where is it? No, you. I have to go in there? I don't have to go to the bathroom. Oh boy. Most important room in the whole castle, I guess. Is there anything down there? Oh, oh it went straight down into the moat. Um, probably that's an oven, yeah. I think that one's probably an oven. Yeah, I think it's because they were ovens, baby. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I think they were ovens. And then over there, according to the sign, they had like a great big pot of stew or whatever they were cooking over there. Oh, that makes sense. What's in there? Uh, you think in the oven? Let's see if they're making. Is there any bread in there? Let me see. No. No. There's not any bread in there. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Let's see what's up here. Can we see anything? Oh, it looks like a hole. Oh. A hole. Yeah, that's where the fire used to go out. But it looks like they stopped it up. You saw the light. What is it with you always making me go inside the fireplace? Look up. look up, look up. What am I looking for? I don't see any light. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Tower. You sure did. Let's see it. Can you show me where it is? This way. This way? Yeah. Oh boy. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's a lamp. Me too. Yeah. Whoa. What's that? I don't know. I think he's up there with Grandma. Hey there, guys. So it's the same day, mm -hmm. and we're still in Skifton and we finished in the castle and now we're stopped for a little lunch well yeah i guess it's lunch um i don't even know what time it is but we were hungry and it's really cold outside so we stopped at the only vegan place in town it's called steep and filter and it is a part green grocer and bulk food shop and it has a little cafe that does soup and toast and sometimes light sandwiches and desserts um today they only have soup and dessert i don't know if we're going to get any puddings or not but there's two kinds of soup today there's a broccoli and turmeric and there's also a ro roasted Lentil and what is it? Moroccan spicy. spicy. Spicy, yeah. Their food's not here yet, unfortunately. But my spicy Moroccan lentil looks like this. Try it. It looks like it's gonna be amazing. Yes, I know. I taste it just a little bit. It's a little bit spicy, but I would say it's a 10 out of 10 for flavor, 5 out of 10 for spicy. And then I got a classic um, oat. Well, it's a vegan cafe, so it doesn't matter. But I got an oat chai latte. We are that does look really good. Yeah. Would you pray me? Yeah. Get it souped up, kid.